What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles I ever got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Bravado Yuga Classic. Now, I did customize this vehicle in the past, but that was an old video with my terrible mic quality from back then. So, a lot of you guys wanted me to recustomize the Yuga Classic for this video. So, this vehicle came out with the Bikers Update drip feed in November of 2016 and can be purchased from the Severn San Andreas website or the Benny's website for $195,000 which honestly that really isn't too bad of a price considering it's a DLC vehicle from 2016 plus it does offer some decent customization as well. Now in terms of performance the Yuga Classic is in the Vans class and is one of the slowest Vans in that class which is to be expected however the Yuga Classic 4x4 variant which is the Benny's one is a lot faster but it still loses to the top two which are the Gang Burrito and the Rumpo Custom, which are a lot quicker. But anyways, in terms of what the Yuka Classic is based on, is primarily based on the second generation Ford Econoline van, which is pretty interesting because this is a Bravado, which is mainly supposed to be a Dodge, but this van is mainly based on a Ford, kind of interesting there. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Yuga Classic. Alright, Yuga Classic. Okay, so you, of course you have the Yuga Classic 4x4 upgrade, the Benny's one if you want to do that, but again we're focusing on the regular Yuga Classic for this video. Um, armor, brakes, chassis, which is a sidestep upgrade. Honestly, I think it looks a lot cleaner without that. I think that sidestep maybe looks a little too modern for this. I don't know, it doesn't really suit it too well. They probably just took that from one of the pickup truck models. <laughs> um, engine, exhaust, so, oh, it's okay, it's a side exhaust. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I guess if you want to go for like a hot rod style muscle build for this van, I guess this would go with it pretty well. Um, the stock exhaust just looks absolutely terrible. Okay, I guess we'll do this one. Um, lights, we'll leave those stock white lights, we'll keep that. Livery. So you do have liveries for this. You have a simple stripe. Okay. Orange retro stripe. Pretty sick. Anything at the back? Oh yeah, it goes all the way. Oh, look at that. Nice. Got a blue version of that. A black slash stripe. Interesting. Red version of that. Red hot summer. Okay. Sausage. <laughs> That's, pretty <laughs> That's pretty good. You got Surf's Up, which is influenced by the uh, Mystery Machine, so if you want to do that um, livery and kind of make that build, you can do that with this. Rusted Out, awesome. Rusty Shop Van, that is sick. Love that, very, very cool. A, a but a rusty versions of the other ones. And that's all the options there. Wow, tons of livery options for this thing. But for me, honestly, I think the, the primary and secondary color is like enough uh, color separation for the build I want to go for um, so I'm gonna skip the liveries for this one they're, they're great liveries uh, but I think they go more of like solid colors you know where you make primary and secondary the same color I think that's a, a better build uh, for that so um, plates black background and um, I guess I'll just throw my uh, America plate on this one perfect respray so for this one your primary is of course the center portion <laughs> so the bottom half um and the roof are your secondary and then your primary is obviously the middle section of the van kind of interesting um however i'm gonna do it the other way around i'm gonna make the secondary uh, my main color and then my primary um my, my sort of secondary color that's probably really confusing but you, you'll see you'll see when I have it done um, so for this I'm gonna go with a, a Cabernet red and then did I do metallic on there okay so I gotta do the pearlescent on my uh, primary okay so my primary is going to be a cream look at that it looks gorgeous already and then we want our pearlescent to transfer to our 
secondary. So we're going to go with a Torino Red Pearl. Look at that. The candy red with the cream. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. I think that's just beautiful. Um, I have used this color combo in the past, but on this van in particular, I just love, love, love the classy look it gives it. Super, super nice. And then the tertiary color is basically like your trim color. So this only applies to um, extra visual upgrades you put on it, which I'll show. Um, so for now, I'm going to paint it just so you guys can see. I'll paint it orange and then I'll paint it back the color I want when we're done. Just so you guys can see what um, that color applies to. It's not anything in the interior. Again, it's only like visual exterior mods. Crew logo is a tiny little <laughs> a crew emblem there on the front that's that's funny well that is technically the hood so uh roof so the roof upgrade for this is not a roof upgrade it is a a sunshade upgrade so kind of interesting so that's part of that tertiary color uh so interesting there and then skirts that's also the uh tertiary color is for the arch extensions which gives you again arch extensions and a front splitter upgrade so it's not just the arch extensions by itself so pretty sick there so I'm gonna put those two upgrades the sunshade and the uh, arches with the front splitter and then let's make that tertiary color uh, match our red so we'll just throw on here if we find it where is it Cabernet there we go Cabernet red look at that oh so so nice uh, we did that we did that yep suspension oh yeah let's slam it give it that awesome my resto mod hot rod look tailgate is a spare wheel now if you're gonna keep the stock wheels I guess that's fine but I am gonna change them so I don't want that spare wheel there transmission turbo wheels so for this one we're gonna go to the um, low rider chrome and then we're gonna throw on here the uh, low fives I, I'm, I'm kind of in between the low fives and the uh, the classic rods depending on what look you want to go for but I think these wheels suit more of that sort of muscle hot rod look. So we'll do those. Um, and then we'll give it some um, white wall tires. Oh my god, it looks so good. Wow, I'm, I'm very happy with that. That is nice. That I would drive that. <laughs> I don't even like vans. I would drive that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, windows. Should we black them out? Eh, why not? And that's all the options there. Okay, let's take it for a drive exit to ground. That's a good looking van, I gotta admit. That's nice. Oh, it looks so good. That is nice. Oh, the little fog lights don't work, unfortunately. That sucks. Uh, interior, copy and paste from like every van in the game, pretty much. Um, same thing with the back. There's a four seater, I believe. Um, so. Nice. All right, let's floor it. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, slowest, one of the slowest vans in the game for a reason. Oh, look, the original Yuga. Look at that. That's awesome. What a coincidence. That's the original Yuga, and this is the Yuga Classic. That's sick. Perfection. Thank you, Rockstar. <laughs> a little comparison. So yeah, this thing. I mean, I I'm floored. I'm after I passed the Yuga, I've been floored and. Uh, yeah, this is about as fast as it goes. It's definitely a cruiser, that's for sure. That's something you use to go fast. Handling. Oh, oh my god. Okay, a lot of understeer, but it's not terrible. You can definitely feel the weight very heavy. Um, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh my god, look at that body roll. It, just, it wanted to go on two wheels there. <laughs> it, it literally slammed, and it still wants to like tip over. That's funny. Ah! Forced it a little more here. Look, 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 look. <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> the two wheel machine. <laughs> Not the mystery machine with that livery. It's just the two wheel machine. That is funny. Can it mid drive? Let's see. Yeah, it can. It doesn't go anywhere, but yeah. <laughs> it can. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I like this thing. It's, it's different. Nice classy look, especially if you do the right build with it. I think this is a fantastic vehicle. Most people buy it and do the mystery machine build. That's why they own it. But um, I don't know. I think it's nice to do something a bit different. Nice classy build on this. Looks so, so good. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Now, something I wish I could change is those mirrors. And I think they're too 
big too, like utility looking. Um, what else would I change? That's pr pretty much it. And maybe if we can have an older looking interior, maybe change the interior color as well. But other than that, not not bad at all. Um, all right, let's. Uh, I guess let's pull into here and open all the doors and stuff. Uh, let me back up. Actually, you know what? I'll pull over. Pull up over here. I don't even know what this says. Oh, hotel. Nice. <laughs> All right. Vehicle doors. Well, let's turn it on so we can get some light here a bit. Nice. Okay. Vehicle doors. Let's do all and nice. Everything opens up. Got the engine bay there. That's funny. The engine is like stuffed in there. That's that's hilarious. One thing that's funny is that the the belt it just cuts off right there. Actually, no. Wait, on this one it goes down. Okay, this one they actually rendered they rendered it further down. Oh, but the back side doesn't have anything. That's funny. So it's only rendered for the front of the belt, but the so the belt starts here and then it just stops right there. That's funny. Okay, well, <laughs> little details. Interior, pretty sick looking. Of course, we got the sliding doors. Love that trunk opens up. It's cool, man. I I I, I genuinely like it. And for, I mean, it's it's under 200k or just under 195 plus upgrades and everything. So you're in this thing for what about 400k ish, depending on what upgrades you pick. It's not terrible, all things considering you know fully upgraded, um, especially with the prices of newer stuff in online. I think it's a pretty um, decent deal, honestly. I love the sliding doors. Let's uh, close that. Vehicle doors do none. Let's see. Sick. Very, very cool. I like it. I do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like it, if you own one, what you think of it. Um, it is very slow, but that's to be expected. It's a cruiser. It's an old man. Not supposed to be fast. Would be nice if it was really fast, but that's with almost anything in GTA, right? Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.